Welcome to Communication Engineering Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be explaining SSB generation by phase shift method. So in this session, I'll explain you a basic circuit which will be generating single side band by using phase shift method. And for that basic block diagram of system is this. And in that step by step, I'll explain like how this block diagram generates SSB SC signal. Now see here we have modulating signal that we are giving at input side and let us consider this modulating signal is Vm sin omega m t and this is low frequency this is low frequency signal. Now, this low frequency signal that is what we are giving to product modulator 1 as well as product modulator 2 after having 90 degree phase shift. And here we have carrier signal. Let us say this carrier signal is CT and that is PC sine omega CT. So that is carrier signal and that is high frequency signal. So one can see this is high frequency signal carrier signal and this is low frequency signal modulating signal. Now what we do is this carrier signal and this modulating signal that is directly given to product modulator 1 where here frequency is FM for modulating signal and frequency of carrier signal that is FC for carrier signal to this product modulator 1. So once you pass this two signal to product modulator, it will be generating DSBSC signal. And that signal is having two components, lower side band and upper side band lower side band that will be having frequency that is fc minus fm and upper side band that will be having frequency fc plus fm with this product modulator 1 at output side. Now here this modulating signal that we are giving it to 90 degree phase shift so that modulating frequency signal fm with 90 degree phase shift will be there here you are finding 90 degree phase shift that is added to this modulating signal here and this air signal that is even given with 90 degree phase shift. So over here you will be finding carrier signal that is having 90 degree phase shift so Fc plus 90. Now here we have product modulator 2 that even generates DSBSC output. So this signal of output of product modulator 2 that will be DSB. SC and again same thing will happen over here it will be generating two signals lower side band and upper side band lower side band will be carrier signal minus modulating signal so if you subtract this two so that will be fc plus 90 minus F fm minus d so that will be fc minus fm and in upper side band that, that signal will be fc plus 90 degree plus fm plus 90 degree so you will be finding that signal will be fc plus fm plus 180 degree so ultimately output of product modulator 2 that is fc minus fm fc plus fm while output of product modulator 2 that is fc minus fm and FC plus FM plus 180 degree. So when you add this two signal over here, here we have adder. So that is adding both of the signals. So after addition, what will happen is it will be cancelling out of phase signal. Here you, one can see this USB that is out of phase from product modulator 1 to product modulator 2. So as this USB that is out of phase that will get cancelled over here. So output 
of SSBSE over here that will be FC minus FM. So only one will be having lower side band here and that is what SSBSE signal. So by using SSBSE generation phase shift method here we can have two product modulator and by having phase shift method we generate SSBSC signal and will be able to extract power side at output side. So in this we don't use any filter. By having phase shifter we can generate SSBSC signal. So one, one should have basic idea like see how things are happening inside and at the end there will be FC minus FM signal. Now if you want to have upper side band so to get our upper side band all we can do is we can apply opposite phase shift. So if you apply opposite phase shift, so in that case one can be able to cancel lower side band and we can have upper side band even. So that is even possible. But here I have explained a case of lower side band. So that is even sufficient to understand like see how we can generate SSBSE signal. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can suggest me those things which is required here to complete communication engineering. Definitely I will place videos to sort out all those queries about which you are suggest about which you are giving suggestions. And you can suggest me those things even which is required to solve in terms of problems so that there will be proper understanding in between and students and it will be giving benefits to students. Thank you so much for watching this video.